TIQ project itself is a, a large-scale development which is being constructed in joint partnership between Lend-Lease and London Continental Railways. Praters uh, have got a track record, they've worked with us for, for a long time and they started the PCSA process. A portion of the job that we're working on with, with Praters is uh, S7 and S8. They're two residential towers, uh, S8 is 17 storeys, uh, S7 is 30 storeys and there's some 330 flats. The work's actually started in June 2014, the S8 is due to hand over in October 2016 and S7 is due to be complete in May 2017. The innovation of the project to date has to be around the cladding and how that's put on the building um, with the use of the screens. This, um, this cladding design is predominantly used for say a lower level structure but with the use of the screens here we've been able to take that and attach that up to a high level high rise building and working within the screens um, gives the guys a, a great access to the outside of the building to a safe and tidy environment to work in. So I think the approach to that the collaborative working with Praters and and the frame contractor behind the screen has made this project a great success. Praters from the very on start showed some, um, some real initiatives in from the design, um, the feasibility from a building perspective given the fact that this wasn't um, a standard square box. Their thought process at the early stages uh, impressed the, the whole of the uh, professional team and um, everybody was sort of excited about using Praters. I think one thing the screen working may be appealing to uh, specifiers and architects is that it's a slightly different method of construction. It allows people to do things that they might not be able to do on scaffolding or that would be more difficult. So for example here we can move the materials actually into the floor and pass it out onto the screen without having to go through any scaffolding stanchions. So there's a bit more flexibility there. There are top screens which are used by the concrete subcontractor, the wet screens and then we have the cladding screens which is where we work. Every eight days our screens actually rise up from the building so we're pushing out a completed four every day, it's a very tight deadline. As ours move up on S8 we will gradually be um, catching up with the wet screen which will then be removed and we will, our screen will be moved up onto the top level. And on building S7 we've actually got double the height to go so the building is actually only half as tall as it's going to be. One of the key items that we've uh, looked at with this new method of working off a uh, moving screen is obviously the health and safety and how we control that. It's been um, a learning curve, we've worked with Lendlease very closely to do that and it's a new system for us. Traditionally you're working off scaffolding, it's not going to go anywhere, it's, a fixed, it's fixed to the building, it's fixed down to the ground. With the screen it's moving every day and we all know this, so the key point is making sure everyone's aware of that and making sure that we control access to it properly. As part of that, we work very closely with Lendlease and with Byrne Brothers um, to put in place a special methodology for working on the screens. The interface from Alistair and his team, nothing, nothing's a chore, everything's, all these challenges are just taken on the chin and absorbed, worked through and yeah, it's, it's a nice piece of fresh air just to be able to work with, with Praters and um, a great start and, and it's things like that that make the success of the project. I think TIQ is such a good example of Proto's commitment to community engagement. We've employed 25 people through the workplace scheme, of which eight of those are actually directly employed for us. Of those eight people we've taken on, some of the guys there had no qualifications and they're actually working as trainee site managers for us. Part of that has been the way Lendlease and Newham Borough Council have engaged with us. Uh, Newham's one of the poorest boroughs in the east of London and Mayor Newham made it his key priority to try to turn that around. What he's done as part of that is set up a workplace scheme which is uh, actually people going into subcontractors and workplaces and actually matching people for specific roles so it's not just throwing people at random jobs, it's actually tailored to suit. So the people we get are actually people that want to work, that are willing to work and have some training and skills in construction. Here you can see the advantage of the 4D model that we produced at the start of the project. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the actual construction in progress. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see our 4D model and how we're planning to build it. With the screens moving up on S8 building, you can see they're actually getting near the top and ready to top out, with the screens continuing on S7 on the right-hand side. With all the different weather conditions we had to uh, deal with, and the multiple screen moves moving up in quarters, it was certainly valuable to be able to visualise the project, both from client and supply chain point of view. TIQ is a project that I'm particularly proud of and the rest of my team particularly proud of because it's a new team that we've put together to do it, working with a new client's team, 
we've had a new access methodology, a very, very tight programme, uh, completing an entire floor on two buildings every eight days. And the amount of planning commitment that everyone's given to it, it's worked. And we've got a very happy client, we're very happy, um, and it's a stunning looking building.